Good afternoon. I'm Lieutenant Craig Waldrop with JSO Homicide, and I just want to give a brief update on the call out we had yesterday at 6700 Utsi Road. Just a brief update. We have confirmed that we have found human remains. We are in contact with the medical examiner's office and a forensic anthropologist who will be responding to the scene to collect the evidence and the body. Um, I don't have a lot of new information other than that. We will be in the area for several days. Um, it's going to be a thorough crime scene search. Um, we do believe foul play is expected and we are working that way now. We do not have any identity of the victim whatsoever. We are asking the community for any help, any information you might have in reference to something in this area, please call us. Uh, JSO or First Coast Crime Stoppers. In How deeply was footage. the body buried? Um, so I don't want to get into that specifics, um, but uh, like was said yesterday, uh, one of the landowners who was cutting his property discovered it. How what leads you to believe that foul play was involved? Uh, just the position that the body was left in, um, just through years of homicide experience, we pretty much determined that foul play is suspected. Um, size of the property. I mean, has the property owner been out there? What is the size of the property? Uh, the uh, property owner is cooperating. The size of the property is approximately a couple acres. Um, the crime scene is narrowed down to a small area that we've identified. Approximately how long do you believe the body has been there? Uh, we won't know that until the medical examiner makes their determination and does the autopsy. Any preliminary details on the remains themselves? Did, did they give any clue as to any kind of information on, on the person? It might have been Not at this time, no. Okay. And are the remains still on the scene here? Or? They are, yes. And you're saying it's one body? Do you believe there may be more bodies? At this time, we believe it's just one. But like I said, when the anthropologist gets here, it's what they do. They're going to search the area to make sure we haven't missed anything. Has this home been tied to any investigations, death, murder, anything of that nature? No, not at this time, not that we're aware of. Has the homeowner indicated when the last time was that he was on that part of his property? No, yes. So can you describe the property for us? Because from our vantage point, it looks like a wooded area, but no, there's a property back there? There is a property behind the wooded area. We are concentrating on the wooded area at this time. So it's in somebody's backyard? No, it's, it's a completely wooded area. Um, there is a home back there, but we don't believe it's related at this time. Any information from neighbors potentially, or is it still too soon to? Too soon. It? We were interviewing everybody, and that's why I said I reach out to the community. If anyone has the information, please contact us. Is the wooded? Is this a private road? It is. Yes. Is the wooded area separate ownership from the home that we can see from above? It is. Yes. Do you have the full remains of the person's body? Again, until the the anthropologist gets here and makes that okay. determination, we don't know. Do you believe it's tied to any cold case you all have been investigating? That's a possibility at this time. Like I said, we're not sure on the identity, so that's going to take some time for us to make that determination, but it's definitely in our thoughts. Can you at least determine the gender of the body? Not at this time, no. Can you tell us more or less uh, when we'll know an identity? How long does that usually take? Well, norm normally when something like this, uh, it takes weeks, if not months, to be determined, so it could be a while. So Last question. Speaking to a forensic anthropologist, it sounded like a bones could become skeletal in a relatively short amount of time in Florida. Can you comment on that? I don't know exactly the scientific behind that, but yes, that is true. So thank you. We'll update you with that. Thank, thank you.